My name is Kyle Robinson. I am currently the director of video for Liberty Football. I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. I ended up uh, coming here last January and I worked my way up from a graduate assistant to an assistant to now the director. I came out here sight unseen and I've enjoyed every minute of it. My position entails um, making sure we have all the video in after practices for all the coaches to be able to watch. A lot of times we're dealing with IT as well as video and then as far as the video aspect aside from you know practices and and, and doing games and that sort of thing we have to be able to reach out to other schools and collect video from them as well. So if we have a new coach coming into the building, we have to be able to get film from that other school. And a lot of it is just cutting up film to their specification and making sure everything is up to par there. The thing with coaches film is after practice, you have the ability to go back and teach the players. And so if they can't see anything they have nothing to teach on and they can't go back over it with their own players and then that trickles back on the players they can't watch anything they can't get any better really and so it's it's a real you know trickle down effect from that standpoint so there's a lot of different cameras that we film with we film with both man cameras we film with remote cameras and then we film with uh, pole cameras which are basically large handy cams on top of a titanium pole that we film behind the offensive and defensive line. I think my favorite part about working for Liberty Football is being able to stay connected with football. I mean, I played football in high school and fell in love with the sport there. Film specifically is important to the D-line because just so we can like learn to work on our hands, work on our feet, work on our technique, and like perfect our plays to the best we can. Obviously nobody's perfect because God's the only person that's perfect in this world. But like we want to perfect it the best that we can so that when we go out on Saturdays, we can go ahead and dominate the other team. We also use it to study the offense a little bit so we can know what they doing so next morning we can come out there and dominate them. Practice film is used um, consistently and constantly. It's the one thing that we have to take from the day because when you're out on the field, things feel a certain way. And though it feels that way in the moment, the eye in the sky never lies. I've always had coaches tell me that it never looks as good or as bad as it, uh, as it felt. Um, so we use it as an offensive line to adjust technique, to adjust different blocking assignments, to make sure that we are all on the same page with what we have to do because we're half of the offense. If we're on different pages because we're not using the film, then there's absolutely no way the offense can function. In the term, as an entire team, it allows us to see what everybody does. Um, it allows us to be aware of what's going on around us. Um, because though I know myself as an offensive lineman, if I don't know how the quarterback is taking his drop, or if I don't know where this receiver is actually trying to get to, it, it, it makes my job easier to know those to know those things. You can quote unquote survive without knowing them, but building your football IQ in knowing those things will only make you a better football player. And we use film for all of that. I think that as a young football player, especially as a young college player, you can get consumed in I have to do my job and I can only be focused on my job. And that's not a bad focus to have. But as you grow and as you progress in your career, you have to expand your horizons and be able to expand your vision to see what happens around you. Um, I can remember a friend being a freshman and really just focusing on the guy I had to block at the time or maybe the person I was double teaming with. Um, but now as I've gotten older, not only do I see him, but I also see there's a safety who's moving over here. I also see that we only have one receiver and the corner's pressed. I also see that the the defensive tackle inside of me has moved out a little bit. The linebackers moved out. The, the formation is different, different things like that. And I feel like that has helped me to be able to predict what's about to happen. And as an offensive lineman, if you can know what's about to happen before it does, then you have a better chance of stopping it. On a day-to-day -day basis, I use coaches' film a lot, to be honest. And just the way they do things and the way that he runs it, it, 
kind of helps seeing both sides, not just the player side, but the coach's side. And it definitely helps me like build myself up a little more and it just gives me a little bit more knowledge of not only the game of football, but life also. Watch a film for practice, it kind of depends on the day, but I'm just looking for any way to get better. And not only looking at myself, but looking at my teammates and anything they do good and they do wrong, I just try and take it and use it so I don't make the same mistake or so I better myself if they do do something good. It is very important within the position. It's definitely very important, and I think it impacts us all. It's not just me, but it's definitely very important within the position just to help you grow more and to help you understand the game and understand seeing from different angles. The most important thing I think I learned is as much as you do practice, sometimes you go out there and you kind of like do your own thing, not like completely, but it's it's a little different. Like the way you do things in practice, it's a little different than when you're by yourself working out. But most definitely in practice, you can see the improvement. You can see the way your body moves and just the way everything is in practice. When you watch yourself, you could kind of critique and fix yourself on what you're doing, like how you stand, how your stance is, how you run, just different things like that. That's a wrap, folks. Yay. That's a wrap, cuz. That's it. We're done. Pack it up. We're out of here. Okay, anything else you'd like to add? Flames. <laughs>